everybody oh and i'm getting missing you can't just start the uh podcast like start the podcast like that how close is this camera because last time was horrible well it's pretty good or, right uh, now. camera audio crap <laughs> ice yeah all right so you'll never believe what happened to me the other day yeah what happened buddy don't say buddy like that buddy buddy bud Bud, that bud. sounds really fucking stupid. Buddy, bud, bud, bud. So, um, yeah, the other day I was talking to some people at my work and um, talking about like this forest, forest. In, in Maine. Yeah, in Maine. There's a lot of forests in Maine, genius. Yeah, but it's really, it's haunted. Um, so they were talking about some like Indian tribe or whatever cursing the uh, white men. Back you know, in- it just, it just, sorry to interrupt. What? It just sounds like fuck fairy tale. That's what you're telling me right now. You randomly said, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Tell him some bullshit. <laughs> That'll get him going. Like, how long is the story? Well, it's not very long. Long story. Yeah, but seriously, it, Indian barrel ground cursed and shit. Come on. That's what they said. Who? You know, he's telling you lies. No way. No way, because there's like videos of this shit. Yeah? Yeah. Is there videos? Yes, there is videos. Oh, when are you showing me that? After this. After this? Oh, big man. Big man. Continue. Continue. You're an asshole. No, this is just really stupid. Go ahead. No. Go me. ahead. I'm going to be quiet now. Do you believe in ghosts? Tell me that. Do you believe well, in fuck ghosts? Fuck you. Do you? Is this going to come with a big story, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> You're the one telling the story. I need a coffee. <laughs> Why is that? At this point in time, I would have finished my coffee and smashed my cup <laughs> over your head. Well, that's just a shame. Fucking true. Hey, they, uh, he responded, said, tell him I said, hey, fag lord. What do you want me to write back? Oh, wait, who is that? Huh? Who is that? DJ. Oh, DJ? Yeah. Oh, it, I thought it was uh, Josh. Look. Well, I didn't say it was Josh. Yeah, I thought it was Josh, because look. What? That's Josh's number. Thanks, <laughs> I thought you were talking about Josh. Um, <laughs> fuck you. Anyway, you what were you saying before? I, I forgot, honestly. The Haunted uh, Forest? Some, never mind, don't, fuck you. Oh. We're not talking about the Haunted Forest anymore. Oh. Jeez, I thought it was a pretty neat story. Oh, come on, just tell just, me. Just as a quick background, basically, there was a bunch of Indians, they got in a fight, you know, war spread out, and then they fucking cursed the village that the white man lived in, and fucking, that's where that place is. There's, like, full-blown, like, buildings there that are completely empty. Wait, where is this? Um, up the Kennebec. Like, 40 miles. 40 miles? Yeah. What does that go? Where does that go to? Just in the middle of just in the middle nowhere. Of oh. And there's just, like, a giant... That's not long from here. Huh? That's really not long from here. No. Who told you this? Derek. Derek at work. Oh. So is this some kind of, like, main urban legend kind of thing? We have I guess. Here? Well, we were talking about it because it got brought up because we were talking about dolphins and... uh Randomly. Do you think that dolphins talk with bubbles? But that's what we were talking about. <laughs> that's a quick where, conversation. Where, where are their ears? What? Are their ears like ears or are they like little holes? Um, I don't see an ear on a fucking dolphin, dude. <laughs> well, are they I fucking don't... waterproof? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they're there, they're waterproof. <laughs> He's fucking dumbass. <laughs> well, no. You fuckhead. Do, do dolphins have ears? This has nothing to do with Ghost Village or whatever the fuck. <laughs> no, that's how I got brought up. But okay, you're talking about... You gotta think. Are you're you talking actually about dolphins? wondering, do dolphins have ears? Dolphin pussy look like. <laughs> what? It must look like a mole. I don't fucking know. Who gets that reference at home? Who gets that? Who fucking... You sound like a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> that was the most perverted shit you could ever say. No, I, I, I say a lot worse shit. I could say a lot worse shit right now. I'd hope not. Not on the podcast. No, but I could. I mean, I'd have to delete this entire thing and never get advertisers if we say pussy once. No, we're... Oh, shit. You could say worse... <laughs> you could say worse shit, you know? <laughs> That's not the point. You're talking about the ghost forest from the spooky ghost. <laughs> Where is the spooky? Day. What? Ghost, eh? Yes, the hey guys. <laughs> hey, you what up, YouTube? It's your boy, bitch. <laughs> hey, I'm from Canada. From Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm from Canada. Canada. Hey, you bud. As you were saying. So, basically, <laughs> we got cute. 
is haunted now. I don't hear a fucking thing you're saying. What are you saying? It's 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 haunted. I guess I don't know. There's videos on YouTube about it. How there's like fucking this big ass like it's almost like a town, honestly, and it's completely abandoned. It's like a uh, nuke town. Basically, yeah. Except, but I want to go there. What a there. dumb fucking reference. I want to go there. There's an outskirts, and uh, you can like camp your tent and shit. Why are you telling me this? Why are you telling me this? You're fucking cool. I want to go there. Like, I want you to go there. And what? You want me to go with you to this random fucking place? Okay, here's what I'm... Here's here's what he's saying, right? Randomly, as we sit down, you know, he starts talking about this fucking forest. And suddenly he's like, yo, you and me should go to this cursed fucking land. What do you think? It's like, what are you saving this for? What, really? What is the meaning of that? It would be really fucking cool. Yeah? To do what? What are we doing? Well, you can only get up by canoe. Okay. So you'd have to take a new canoe, a new new. A new new. I'd take a new new. A new new, like two miles to get up there. But <laughs> you still said new new. <laughs> I'll take a um, new new. It has to go like five miles. Up. Once we went like the two miles up river, we could go there and um, maybe do some videos and shit. Videos of what? Challenge videos? No, go in the, and investigate. The that ALS shit. ice bucket challenge. You want to do that? <laughs> no, the village. What about the village? We would, like, record going in it. Just to show people, I guess. Uh, really cool. Let me look this up. All right. You can... I don't so, know what like, you tell them. Huh? So, now I don't know what you want to tell them. What do you mean, what do I want to tell them? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, like, keep the conversation going while I'm doing this. Oh, yeah. So, like, honestly, that's just something that I just want to do. Side note, though. What was your, uh... What was your favorite childhood vehicle? Like, what, what was your dream car? Hope you're not asking me because I'm looking this up. No, I, I am asking you. Okay. What was your favorite childhood car? Like one, if you could get it right now, you would. 57 Bel Air. 57 Bel Air. I'll show you. I know I you already know what it looks like, but. I mean, I, 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 mine was a Ferrari, honestly. See, I never liked so I just seemed overrated. Ferrari Enzo? Yeah, this is what I want. Oh, that's nice. It's like those old uh, cop cars back in the day, basically. In a way, except it has... Back a, in, like, the 40s. Yeah, has those 50s, little wing sorry. tips. I wish I could have been alive in 1950s, like... What do you think I feel? <laughs> that would be an awesome time to live. Yeah, I'm still a tool, so... I'm <laughs> still a tool. I am, look at me. <laughs> but um, I'm, I found the thing on the phone, and the, the place where it is... Yeah. supposedly yeah and they also said they have like like somebody went here i read a blog about it a blogger i read a blog and it said something about uh like there's more buildings there around in that town oh really yeah like there was um a weird institute shit <laughs> yeah that's bad so who decides to put for insane people next to an ancient indian burial ground well, I doubt they... Knew. Who knows if it's something's going to be an ancient burial ground, you know? Who's going to check every right. time? Right, exactly. So, I imagine... I mean, I'd, I'd probably check me and see if we took their country from them, but... Yeah, you don't have to white guilt me right now, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's, um... Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll do it with you. How about that? Hey. Right. Well, check out the... Stop using your phone. What you doing? You can hear those things, you know. Anyway, I wanted to um, tell you that I will go if you do one thing for me. Pizza. I want a pizza. I'll go. I'll go for pizza. Whole pizza by myself. If you want pizza, you get something else. What? And a coke. What? What? Anything before the trip, or else I'm not going. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because right. I don't want a canoe. <laughs> Two miles for nothing. And yeah. That's, nothing. If it's not haunted or it's not interesting or our fucking cameras die, that's fucked, you know? Yeah, that kind of fucking suck, wouldn't it? Yeah. Guess we're going to do this in the summer, what right? The fuck Are we going to do this, like, when it's warmer? Because I don't want to come out. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that We're going to do it definitely when it's warmer. How long are we spending up there? A couple hours? What's going on? No, a few days. A few days. Okay. Okay. Now you're changing shit. Yeah. I swear to God, you didn't say few days before well i mean one hour no, two hours no a few fucking days he wants to stay at this place why yeah, why because yeah. we could live stream it eventually live stream what who's gonna Going see that through the place who's gonna see a live stream what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean promote it on facebook promote who uses facebook are you kidding me like everybody uses facebook so 
Not Except only me. would our channel get views, yeah, but we would be able to go for a few days in this haunted place, live streaming it. We'd get so famous from that. I don't know if we'd be famous. People have done that a lot, but no, they haven't. Yeah, Not they going have. into a haunted building. Oh, people go to everywhere. You that hear... means we get support on the channel. That'd be great. You hear that Logan Paul people... shit? Oh, yeah, I did. That was insane. Nobody's done that? Honestly, yes, they have. <laughs> honestly, it's like, I honestly didn't see anything bad about that video. No, I'm one of the people that believe, yeah, it was kind of fucked up. He joked about it because I saw the video. Yeah, but he spent like four minutes, like, talking deeply. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. About how it wasn't a fucking joke. And then he makes a few <sighs> jokes just because. Yeah, but like, famous people are telling him to, like, kill himself and all that yeah. crap and delete his channel. For something that, you know, is really not the biggest deal that we're... No. I mean, I'm sorry that everybody's so bellyaching over it, but... Yeah, but that's just 2017, 2018, you know, everybody's a pussy. Yeah, that started in 2016, I think. Yeah. I think when... No, 20, 2016 and a half, maybe. It was more 2017. Cause, no, because I remember 2016, that whole academic of the social justice warrior thing was... um. Before the elections. I remember that. It happened everywhere. So I think three years of everybody being offended <laughs> right. has happened. Or at two, technically. But Well, if you could, if you could like... I'm, I'm kind of feeling like the future job right now is going to be a uh, police officer. That's something I really would like to do. Haven't officer. we already talked about what we wanted to do in the second podcast? Or, or first, technically? Nope. Why? No. Anyway. No, I could have sworn I... No. Probably police not. officer is what I kind of want to do. I want to be a police officer at one point. Yeah, I want to <laughs> own a business and be a police officer. Yeah, you already told the business on here. I know that. Yeah, I did. Yeah. It'd be it'd be working cool. I mean, if I had my own bar, that'd be awesome. No, I don't doubt it. Is that what you would want to do? Bar and a grill. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd totally do that because that'd be so cool having a like my own place. Yeah. It'd take me years to build it, but... Once it was built, it'd be super cool. Yeah, I'd legit have a record store if I wasn't already doing something. Oh, yeah, because not here at all, but there's... No, I'd say you wouldn't get any business. Tons here. of people in the bigger cities Yeah. Uh, do records. That's why there's one in the city right now, a record store. Yeah, yeah, because it's, you know, I want to sell music. How else would I sell music? Right, exactly. I think my... Uh... Police officer and bar idea would be great because not only could I do like town office men or something like that, I could also because people would know me in the town that I were having that bar and grill at, and then not only that, but um, you know, I'd be able to like be a cop all the time. Yeah, yeah. So people would definitely know me. Would you be the bartender or just the owner walking by checking everything? Bartender owner kind of thing. Yeah. Oh. I do kind of on like a cheers whatever vibe. I feel like. Yeah. I'll do it like that, but, I mean, that would be what I was going to do, I'm like, really. No, that's, that's fine, you know. Yeah. You know, uh, what, if you could go anywhere, like, where would you go? Where would I go? Yeah. Um, I don't know, I, I never desire to go anywhere, you know, like, I've never, I think I've been out of state when I was young, but just the, the border of New Hampshire, I, ever since then, I couldn't care. No, I can't yeah. feel that. Yeah. Maybe Italy, maybe. 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 Every Italian ever. Maybe Italy. Uh, one day. <laughs> yeah. One day. <laughs> one day my dream will come true. <laughs> <laughs> we all going to go Italy, back to the homeland. <laughs> Dad, you were born in 2006 in the United States. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not even your family's family was in <laughs> right. Italy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to go back, you know. <laughs> back and meet cannoli. Oh. Uh, cannoli, huh? Uh, pizza. Uh, <laughs> pizza. <laughs> uh, Who else was a family member? Hey, I'm a weird Italian guy. Here's my impression of Charles Manson. Hey, I'm Charles Manson. How you doing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've been fucking with him all day with that. <laughs> Here's my impression of freaking Bill Cosby. How you doing? I'm Bill Cosby. How you doing? <laughs> I'm Bill Cosby. Yay. Hey, hey, hey. That's me. I would really like to fucking throw up on you every time you do that. Hey, it's me. It's your boy. Shut up. Skinny penis. Hey. 
Uh, memes. How do you th- how do you like the new memes? They they good? I don't fucking care about them. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's that's bad. So hey, it, l- l- let me finish. Best 2018 movies. You mean of 2017? Yeah, sure. Yeah, because yeah. it's not yeah, 2018, fucking, really. Yes. Whatever. Okay. 2017. Fuck. I haven't seen a single Shut movie up. this year. I haven't watched a single movie this year. What the Last fuck? year. I don't know. I just, I have no reason to. I, I watched... watched a movie the other night that was something you'd really like on Netflix before I wake. Oh, uh, I never heard of it. Netflix has it on there, and it's so fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, it's scary as shit, though. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's about a little boy, and uh, the little boy, every time he goes to sleep, he dreams of something. Bad dreams or good dreams, whatever it is, it comes true. Holy shit. And his bad dreams are this fucking monster that's, like, this fucking big, like, dead ass, like, that big. It's fucking tall as hell, and it goes up and it literally eats people, Mm -hmm. and, like, every time he sleeps, it kills somebody. (laughs) Or, like, if you show showed him a Ferrari and, like, what a Ferrari can do, he'd dream what he saw and you could get in a Ferrari and drive it like that. Uh, like, this lady was using her dead son. She showed him pictures of him and he made him appear. <laughs> and at the end of the movie, his nightmare came true in the middle of her and him visiting. Yeah. And uh, the son's face turned, like, evil and shit, and she, like, fucking, he, like, screamed at her, and his eyes were, like, black and gone. <laughs> it's fucking sketchy as hell, dude. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, you gotta watch it sometime. Okay. Fuck, it's scary. Um, uh, I do watch a lot of TV shows, though. I can't say I don't watch anything. I watch TV shows up the ass. TV shows. I love them. I love good movies. I, I'm a movie guy myself. It just, nothing interests me to watch a movie this year. I don't know why. I watched Pitch Perfect 3. Oh, I wanted that to watch funny. Baby Driver so much. What was that? I don't... Uh, apparently, it's this guy who is deaf, right? Yep. And all he... Or, like, I don't know what's wrong. It's not deafness, but... He can't really hear well, but what he can hear is music. And he's a getaway driver for this gang or whatever. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. <laughs> and the whole movie is a lot of soundtracking and a lot of funny moments. And the fucking action's great, too. I didn't see... It. I know you probably saw the trailer for it. Let me look it up. Yeah, I got a um, I got a ragu uh, projector on Amazon. Thing was awesome, honestly. It was literally, it's like the best purchase I've ever made. I will not buy another TV. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, you buy those for like two hundred and fifty dollars, and you can have a screen as big as you want. Yeah. And instead, you buy for seven hundred, and the TV is curved. Yeah, cool, great. Easily broken. Uh, yeah. Same thing as a projector, though. I can't lie. Unless you have it in a stand or something protecting it. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can't really electronic, can't like, really put that in a stand either. That's Big on a TV. Stand. Big TV. Right. Exactly. You can't put that on a small stand, and then you can't have it as big as you want. You can't upsize the TV and keep the contrast. So, like this ragu one I got, they uh, they did me right because I didn't like the first one that I got. And um, it was past a 30-day money-back guarantee, and they contacted me and had me pay a small fee, and they uh, sent me out the new one. No, I haven't. Oh. No, I... What? Go ahead. They're just a really good company. They work well with their customers, and they have a really good product. There's a projector at Walmart, $89. Yeah, but they're not really that great, honestly. How much you pay for yours? That one is about $200. dollar difference in quality. Which is a huge difference. Probably for if that. I showed you, I'll show you the pictures. I'll actually put it in the video here. I doubt it. I'll mark it in. Oh, I will. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the pictures of the two like portions of the the two um oh projectors. Yeah, I took pictures of each one. Yeah. And um, the other one was so much shittier than this one. It was crazy. It was like I put it up on this wall. Wait, the so right you're gonna there. put those pictures up? Yeah. So that means I can say a lot of things to put up, and you'll do it. Yeah, I guess. Future Spencer, listen to me. <laughs> I want you to put up a Mexican with a headdress on. Okay? A headdress? What the hell is that? Figure it out. Google it. <laughs> okay. Then I want you to put a candle inside a G.I. Joe. And then I want you to put... How am I going to do that? And then I want you to put an <laughs> Abbott and Costello bit for three seconds in there. I can't do videos. That's cool. What about a GIF? An Abbott and Costello GIF. <laughs> I say good Jeff because nobody can make up their mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just put today's, all this stuff like floating around. Today's like... favorite game 
is kill yourself. Ch- childhood fears. Childhood fears from movies and media. My childhood fear was clowns. I punched a clown in the dick. Uh, my VR headset had a clown thing on that. it. Oh no! They all tried it. They was like, "Oh my god." <laughs> Um, what was I doing? I played real VR, so I can't play fake VR. I, the reason why I, um, I don't want to get a V, because I was going to get one for PS4 and the H. But they're not but great. the only problem. Those VRs. Computer VR is the best VR. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. But, it um, the only problem is I get sick easy. Oh, really? So I couldn't do it. Dude, there's this game on it called Onward. I fucking love that game. That game is so fantastic. What's it about? It's just a first-person shooter, except for you're in VR. Yeah. And it's got hands-on everything. It's got, like... Oh, my God. I played it on my friend's account. I wish I could afford it. It's literally so fantastic. You go in the game, and you're with... uh, Each team is about four players. I don't know what it is now, because I haven't played it in forever. But, um... Yeah, basically, there's two teams. They fight against each other, and when they fight against each other, you just basically are uh, all your moves. Like when you're playing Call of Duty, oh yeah, I'm so cool, I can dive like a dolphin. Yeah, well, <laughs> in this thing, you can like creep around corners. Like your movements are tracked because it's VR, so it right. tracks your movements completely. Yeah. So like you can peek around corners, like shoot around objects. Like literally, I shot around a can one time because <laughs> I wanted to kill somebody. <laughs> And it's super, like, it's just a really fun first-person shooter. I, I wish I could get VR just so I could play that. I played it on my friends, and I, I can't I can't do anything other than that. That's that's literally the best game in the world. I wouldn't doubt it. Honestly. You'd have to show me it. Yeah, I will. I'm going to try and, like, save up for a VR, honestly. How much is that? 700 yeah. plus the computer. Yeah, because I know the uh, PS4 VRs are... Yeah, this that'd be a downgrade from this because these well, like I, I the computers are like two thousand dollars. You need to run them. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy that. I Actually, fourteen hundred dollars will get you a computer that runs it perfectly. You think? Are you sure? Anything less than that doesn't work. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Damn. Uh, it could run on like mine, but mine would probably blow up. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes a lot. You have to have over a hundred and fifty frames per second in that. Yeah. Running off the computer. My computer runs like 60, <laughs> if I'm lucky. No, my run, mine runs about like 24, actually. <laughs> so, you're talking like 130 FPS I need to get. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So, I wanted to, what I was going to talk about before, go over some childhood fears for media and television, right? Don't do that. So, I'm going to show you... And talk about five things that scared me as a child. Okay, here we go. At number five. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Probably still on TV. Number five. (laughs) Stop. I picked the Halloween trailer. The remake one. Just not the movie. The movie sucked. The trailer. Gave me nightmares for weeks. You know that? Have you seen that? Haven't seen that? Stop what you're doing. (laughs) Stop. I'll, I'll deck you. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is your problem? All right, next one. I want pizza right now. Me too. I can't afford it. What it, What else do you have for food? Oh, uh, like hamburg. I have cereal. Make whatever you want. <laughs> anyway. Mac and cheese. I'll make whatever you want. Anyway. Um, you, ne- ever, you ever thought... I'm still doing this. <laughs> you ever thought that this bedroom could look a lot different? Shut your mouth. Hold on, I'm still fix, find, finding it. Fuck. Found it. So, number four is from Goosebumps. You remember that? The show? The, the show Goosebumps. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Anyway, so there's only one episode that freaked me out as a kid. And it was fr- Cry the Cat. And it was when they showed the mom. And here's a photo. What the? That looks fucking retarded. It scared the shit out of me as a child, dude. Because <laughs> she got Wait. scratched by a cat. Wait, hold on. What? I gotta show you. Hold on. Uh, what's that movie called? Uh, with the boys in it that find hold the... Uh, the uh The the movie called With the Boys. It's like the 1990s it was made. 1990s? That really was a kid's movie. No, like that's a title for a movie. 
Home Alone? No. The Lion King? I'm just Home reading what Home there Home. is. There's only three? No. I'm trying to find this it. This is Doubtfire is a horror movie. It wasn't The Little Rascals, but it was just like it. So nothing like it. Casper? No heavyweights. Leave a like if you saw Casper, the live action version. Don't leave a like. Oh. You want a not? You want a not right now? <laughs> dislike. Leave a dislike. I can't find it. I'm so stupid. mad right now. What does this have to do with horror movies? I'm so mad. Oh my god. I was terrified of the fucking ogre looking dude in that movie. I know what that is. What? You could have just said that. That's what? Ernest Scared Stupid. It is? Yeah. No way. Scared Stupid? I know that shit, man. No way. It's this, right? I don't know. Hold on. Is it not? You said it's a kid's movie, right? Sorry, I'm just trying to look it up. Yeah, that's the fucking one. That's it? Yeah. That movie scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> You're going to put all these photos up, right? Yeah. You're going to have to so. look for them all. Yeah, you'll have to text those portions to me. Oh, so I got to go over the footage? Yeah, yeah, you do. All right. Well, you're going to have to send... stupid. Shut up. Stupid. You're stupid. Stupid. Actually, let's play a let's play a scene from this movie. Opening. Opening. Because just to get that sound bite in of... God, it's a fucking terrible fucking movie. <laughs> it's a horrible movie. What is it? Ernest Scared Stupid. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Okay. <laughs> wow. Your classic, like, really stupid Nickelodeon stuff. Who's here now? I feel like I should wait. Did you invite anybody over? Nope. Alright, he's gonna let light in here, people. Holy God, it's getting dark. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's fine. Here we go. Loki <laughs> hard though. <laughs> That's totally the fucking you know next that? episode. Or Eminem. What? Listen, that's the Eminem beat. I don't know what Eminem beat that is. No, that's not it. No, that that's da da na 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 na. That is totally. Look. Wait, not this part. It changed. Hold on. Oh, it fucks up both points. It's gonna play again. Don't worry. Oh, it is. Yeah, let's just get through it. Ready? Guys, fuck. It's totally real, too. Well, it doesn't change. Yeah, it is. That is that <laughs> same shit. I'm totally gonna do this. I'm gonna put this in the editing to prove how close they are. No, they gotta be able to hear it. Anyway, so they can decipher. Hold on, I'll sing it. Damn it. <laughs> Sing it with me, are you ready? It does work. I told you! So you can suck my dick if yeah. you don't like, like my shit. shit. He's got to sing it, though, because yeah. it connects. Anyway. I, I told you. They totally stole that from Eminem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Number three. We're going to go with... How did that cat lady remind you of that ogre from Sc Ernest Scared Stupid? <laughs> I don't know, man. Creepy stuff? You're just sharing? Yeah. <laughs> All right, the next one is from... Hooga Booga. Okay. <laughs> show called Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction. I'm doing this for future you. Beyond Belief or Taking Fiction. Taking so long to write these in. No, I just I can't do two, comedy, two too. It's not that it's cut. Here we go. Anyway, the concept... Oh, by the way, the top, the top four are all women. I don't know why, but it's all how a women look. This one... Is I missed 29 minutes. Let's go back in. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not gonna make this one too long. So what are you making it? 45. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. It's probably smarter to do anyway from now on. 
editing. You know, no, I mean like it takes how 10 long years to edit something like that. Yeah, how long people want to. Anyway, this comes from Beyond Belief Fact of Fiction. It's called The Mirror of Truth. And the idea is this lady who's a bitch, essentially, is like, you know, she gets mean to this person and the person puts a curse on her. It says, you will look on the outside as you do on the inside, which is disgusting. And then randomly, <coughs> as she's looking in a mirror, this is what she sees. Oh, it, <laughs> there it is. What do you think? <laughs> if you look at it right now, I need this picture. She looks like a fucking astronaut, bro. That's, <laughs> that's no. so creepy. I hate it. No, the shoulders would match up perfectly. <laughs> Totally looks like an ass. She's so on. gross. My God, what's wrong with her? <laughs> you gotta have to put this the photo up. I hope you know like, you're gonna have to put this photo up. I know, up. I know. I, I I know how to interlap them, so I might just interlap the photos of an astronaut and then her. That's gross. Yeah, like an astronaut <laughs> blowing up in space as it loses everything. <laughs> yeah, probably. Its eyes are fucked. Anyway, number two. <laughs> number two, also a woman, kind of. I say kind of because she was played by a man. <laughs> yeah, they had to get her uh... a sex change just for no, the role. No, damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? Let me grow that? some titties for a role in a movie. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, let me do that. <laughs> anyway, no. The idea was uh, they tried to make her. Uh, originally in the book, she was like a seven year old. And she has, like, a disease in her back. So they had a 35-year-old man play that role? <laughs> yeah, they did. Because the idea was they wanted her to look a little odd. Something's not right about her. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something not right about that. <laughs> the so opposite I did, uh, gender in so, the completely so I did, uh, opposite age. I did Pet Cemetery Zelda. You know what she does? Or one scene that's... This is a scene that, scene that scared me right here. Randomly, they open the door. Yeah, he'll probably make you laugh because I know you. <laughs> yeah. But you gotta understand, as a movie, this scared me. So, her her sister uh, opened the door, and she's already dead by now. And then this happens. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that scared you? Oh, you don't understand, dude. Like that's a creepy fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So she gets off the bed, looking at you like bitch. No, she doesn't get off the bed. She jolts her body, which wasn't even she wasn't able to do when she was alive. That's what's weird about it. Plus, it's a fucking man, a grown man playing <laughs> little girl. There's something wrong about that woman. <laughs> do you understand? Okay. And for my honorable mentions, <laughs> I picked The Grudge. That movie terrified me. That was fucking horrifying. <laughs> I saw this one. I I I've didn't se- see that one. I have since seen the Japanese versions. Yeah, the but the ones I are in. I Japanese. thought the American version was a lot scarier. I didn't think it was. I oh th- yeah, it was. I thought the older ones because I have the other other ones too. But they were just you know back in that time that was like a huge thing going on. There was like a giant like horror movie streak. Now there's a giant action movie streak. That yeah, happens all the time. 70s had drama movies. A lot of drama, like... Baby Drama Llama? Yeah. Anyway. And my number one... Llama? My number one. Are you ready? (laughs) No. It's gonna be this one. Are you ready? We're gonna watch the video. You don't have to put this in. about this <laughs> you fucking 
And that does it for t- my top fuck? ten, five, six. My top six <laughs> scariest moments as a child. I'm not scared of any of those anymore, but... Yeah, he is. No. Ever so slightly scared of him. Yeah, clearly. And the one, that one from the mirror true freaked me out, though. She just looks... <laughs> she looks like an astronaut. She looks so disgusting. She's so disgusting. I, I can't tell what makes it creepy, but it is. She looks like a weird cat as well. I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> astronaut what losing oxygen his helmets come <laughs> off and suddenly his eyes pop out yeah it does look like that you're right yeah all astronauts look like a disgusting woman <laughs> what's our next really topic sexist. what's our next topic really sexist hey at least they at least those bitches can get to space right damn <laughs> next topic <laughs> okay what about you what scared you um you already said one clowns the grudge yeah, the grudge. You terrified said me. Closets just terrified me. Mirrors terrified me. Now that I style my hair, I, I love mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> now you just look like a goof in the mirror. Yeah. I don't, I don't love mirrors, but I, I'm i not scared nah, of them at all. you you love mirrors. Sure, take it like that, but it's not like I'm kissing the mirror every morning. Because <laughs> you, know, you, know you know I don't do that. What's the next you topic? You totally do it. What? You totally do it. What's the next topic, dude? Fuck no. no. It's like the, uh, Sorry, da, da, don't, da, da, don't think it's bad. I don't have any more topics. We ran out of topics a while ago. No, we didn't. Vacation places, that'd be fun. I don't want to talk about travel. Where you want to live? God damn it. <laughs> about us. Damn it. What it was? There's nothing left. What's about us? About us. You have to tell us a little bit about you. You want to ask questions back and forth? 20 questions, but 40 questions? Fine. <laughs> okay, go. Um, what was your deepest secret? Growing up, that you didn't want anybody to know about. My pee pee's hard. <laughs> that was my secret. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Um, if you had to say your favorite movie of all time, what would it be? Black Hawk Down. Yeah. What was your first phone? I had. I didn't have the flip phone because I wanted one, but I never got one. I got a slider phone a couple years after that was okay. Um, bah, 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 bah. what's your favorite food? What's your least favorite food? <laughs> okay. Your turn. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> uh, what was the worst uh, birthday party you ever had and what happened? Uh, the worst birthday party I ever had was when I was in Corinna. And I invited a lot of people that I won't even acknowledge anymore. That's funny. All those friends you have and now it's like, what the fuck ever, right? But it hit too close to home for you, didn't <laughs> Anyway. That's really sad. I know, I know. That's sad. You don't put sad music in the background. <laughs> no, don't even put any music in the background. That that kind of didn't work last time. Anyway, it was funny. It was funny. It won't be funny next time. <laughs> anyway, it's like a threat. <laughs> anyway, um, we I invited them to my party, and I remember there was these little kids that kept bugging me. They was like, "Can I play with you guys?" And I'm like, "No, go away." And we kind of pushed them downstairs. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and my parents got mad at me because I wouldn't let them play, even though they were just going to fuck up my new stuff that I got for my birthday. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I remember that everybody was just, like, so pissed off at them because they kept breaking my shit. Okay, your turn. Wow. Way to, way to add on to that, huh? What? <laughs> I, can, I still keep going. Um... If you had to go back in time and see one event, what would it be? Uh, the JFK assassination. Why? Just say you're there. You were there. No, so I could jump out and get hit by the car as he got <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> oh my god. Your turn. <laughs> um, what was your favorite history? In? What was your favorite time? Time? The 50s, because it was a simpler time. Are you talking about, like, time I had, alive? Favorite decade, yeah. It's... Because it's just a good time. You know, rock and roll was big. <laughs> Cars were out there. All right. That's all you really need <laughs> in life. All right. They had cool diners. Yeah, okay. And everything was cheap. Oh, yeah. Not for them back in the day, but, you know. All right, um, your turn. Um, my what's... sister and her boyfriend. Oh, it took you a long time. We're sorry, people. We were listening to that. Um, I thought it was my radio until you said that. No, <laughs> so... you just sat there for like ten years. <laughs> like, should I get? 
Okay. Um, if you had to choose to go on a date with one human being, guy or girl, who would it be? My girlfriend. That's fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't go on a on a meal with JFK. <laughs> Be like, yo, motherfucker, I'm the one that jumped in front of your car. <laughs> no, I have more fun with my girlfriend. Than JFK? Yeah. JFK is a player. You can kill a single person <laughs> in history who would it be? JFK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> if you could have dinner with any person, it'd definitely be JFK. Who would you assassinate? JFK. <laughs> Yeah, I'd kill him in the same fucking mixed, venue. <laughs> mixed emotions there. No, I'll just do it at the same time. Have dinner and kill him. All right. Speak a little Italian to him. <laughs> Your turn. He's like, what are you saying, gentlemen? <laughs> and I blow his fucking brains out. 360 no scope. <laughs> Save the gun. Get the cannoli. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. I hope you put up like 18 cannolis when I said that. <laughs> I just I don't do any of it. Who is... What is your least favorite game you ever played? You mean, like, real life or the game life? No, my, my last relationship. Damn it. That was a game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wanted to quit after I started. I know who that was, too. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, go on, buddy. Bod, bod. bod. If, you could, if you could marry a single superstar, who would it be? Superstar? Yeah. What's a superstar? Like, you know, like, um, the sun. The... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd marry Titan. <laughs> Pluto. Saturn sun. That's right, right? Yeah. Saturn's fuck moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturn's father. Moon. Yeah. Titan. Um, alright, um, oh yeah, it's your turn. You didn't ask me even a question. <laughs> I already asked you one. Okay. That wasn't even a good question, but okay. Um, what's the best bear? Because they're not polar bears. Brown bear. Why? Bears, bears, Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> what? If anybody gets that reference, let me know. <laughs> Next is your turn. You ever think that maybe, just maybe, we quit YouTube, pop each other right in the head? <laughs> Sorry for laughing. Pop. Pickled. I know this is... A, I know this is a serious... Pull out. I know this is Never. a serious topic, and I'm sorry for laughing. Okay, um, I'd like that very much. My question. Wait, what part? My question is, <laughs> um, how do you make a perfect pancake? They suck. By a waffle maker. <laughs> <laughs> do quiz. <laughs> I made a, I made the perfect pancake the other day. Oh yeah, you got pancakes now. I do. Yeah. I'm right. gonna make some pancakes after this. I don't want pancakes. I want some else. What do you oh, got? What? What do you got for food? I don't know. You can look. I'm gonna make pancakes for myself. Oh. No. The fuck? They're being loud as fuck. They are loud as fuck. What are they doing? I don't know, man. Playing Yahtzee? You gonna play Yahtzee? (laughs) Have you ever... Have you ever took a shit and then... Ate it? All right, on that note, we're gonna go. Picked it up again with your hands Uh, and tongs and... Frosty's gonna have the final word today. Ready? Set? Pressed it. Into your bung hole for extra nutrients. Last word. Press in your bung hole for extra nutrients.